What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Melinda J, here to talk about the restaurant Papa Do's is suing the city of Houston over failed lobby airport bids. So let's dive into it. This is coming from AB, ABC 13 News, and it reads, the latest round of ongoing food fight Papa Do's, uh, or just Papa's restaurant, is suing the city of Houston over the company failed attempt to stay at William P. Uh, Hobby Airport. In the lawsuit filed Tuesday, Papa Restaurants alleged that the city failed to comply with statutory procedures for competitive sealed proposals, failed to consider the criteria to determine best value for the city as required by state and municipal laws to conduct the solicitation of accordance with the global accepted public procurement standards made uh, applicable to the caption procurement through municipal laws, including transparency, impartiality, and accountability, failed to follow Open Meetings Act requirements, violated globally accepted public procurement standards, fraud, lack of procurement integrity, and responsibility and under general principles of fairness. In early March, City Council voted 11-6 in favor of awarding a 10-year airport concession contract to a Miami-based company called Area AS, I mean, excuse me, Area SAS. Offered, areas offered a higher percentage of sales to the city, 22% compared to Papa's, which offer 15.2%. Council member Dave Martin says he loves Papa's but can't look beyond the revenue. Oh. In other words, your coin doesn't match with air with what area is offering. It's basically saying, I love your child, but I'm gonna have to go with the highest bidder, okay? Popper argued that officials violated city and state law when they gave concession contract to areas. Because it's almost like a slap in the face to Poplar's like, hey, we were here first. Why won't y'all give y'all us a uh, seniority? Why won't y'all just grandfather us in for crying out loud? Because we put business into the city's economy and y'all turn y'all back on us all because of a Miami-based company coming over here to basically take our spot? I don't think not. That's what I'm getting already. According to Papa's, the base of the lawsuit is that William Paul Thomas, Mayor Sylvester Turner, former top aide, reached out to Papa's in 2019 during the first round of the bidding process. But that will be a violation of the city's policy because it was during the non, the no contact period. So, okay. So Turner's top eight was, what I got from that sentence there, was the mayor's top eight was like send, sending smoke signals to Papa's like, hey, there's a possibility that the bid is coming, be ready, okay? But it was during the no contact period. You're not supposed to do that. So Thomas abruptly left his position in August 2022 after he pled guilty to federal public corruption charges. ABC Partners, the Houston Chronicle reported, citing a source with the knowledge of the situation, the Chronicle reported last summer that Thomas admitted to conspiracy to, to accept a cash bribe in exchange for changing a bar's classification to a restaurant allowing the bar to stay open longer during the C the restrictions. Oh my goodness. Wow. Thomas pled guilty on July 25th and submitted his resignation the next day. Um, the Papa's lawsuit claims Thomas may have had access to confidential information about proposals. His attorney did not respond to requests for comment from our partners at the Houston Chronicle. ABC reached out to the mayor's office who said in response, the city did not, has not seen the lawsuit and has no comment. Uh, has, as previously noted, the city uh, follow its normal procurement policies throughout the process. 
Its latest moves comes after Papa files a protest asking the city of Houston to set aside the new contract and reevaluate the bidding process, the Chronicle said. Papa's had the lobby contract for 20 years, but the transition plan for this late uh, later this year. In a press release, Hobby said Areas operates more than 130 restaurants inside the major airports in the U.S. The new agreement is set to include Colleen's Barbecue, The Spot, Spindle Tap Brewery, uh, uh, Starbucks, Yard House, and is projected to generate as much as $104 million in revenue. So basically, Papa's restaurant th- uh, believes they... Um, they believe they got, you know, poked in the back by the city of Houston. Because, again, as I said before, they basically generated, they added to the city's, the city's uh, economy, GDP, per se. And um, the fact that even though it was the AIDS lack of awareness to let them know ahead of time that there's going to be a bidding coming up soon. Get your papers ready so you can be able to get this, you know, contract deal. And the fact that they were not able to get it and the city of Houston went with somebody else that is like a Miami-based company is like, a, um, it's like a slap in the face. Like, I love y'all, but we're going to go with this one over here for the sake of our city, okay? For the sake of of the expansion okay we'll visit visit you as regular um as regular scheduled but as of right now we're going to go along with areas the miami-based company so um my thoughts on this situation is that um i have to ask if it wasn't for the aid doing what he did at the time letting papa restaurants know ahead of time even though it was um, within the no contact period and he violated, I'm pretty sure the code of ethics of being the top aide for the um, mayor of the city. But if he had not have letting them know about this particular bid, I wonder would the city of Houston still would have taken the offer for Papa's uh, restaurant to win the bid for the airport i wonder i might have to ask that question on on my spiritual channel on that one with my um with my doubts and rods okay (laughs) but um yeah that that's the question i have to pose is if they wasn't aware of the bidding ahead of time would they still would have got it over the miami based company if not then it's just like well you darn if you do and you darn if you don't and 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 again it brings them into a perspective like okay so since they chose them over us we got to go back to the game plan and figure out what we need to do so we can be able to get this be at the next time go around but um i thought this was very interesting that that the um that the city of Houston did not go with their own and they went with somebody outsourced they basically outsourced um someone to bring business into the airport so yeah that's Papa's restaurant gotta go back to the drawing board on that one but I just thought I'd bring this to y'all's attention and show y'all some more things that are happening along the the worldly news per se and feel free to leave your comments down below in the comment section about this subject matter and i'll see you guys in the next one bye